Has this ever happened to you? You watch a perfectly decent YouTube video, like it's from a new channel you're not really sure about yet, but the first video is like a solid C+, or like a B, but probably actually a C. So you subscribe to their channel anyway, and you're like, wow, now I want to play some of these games that he mentioned in his last video. But I just don't know how or what to do with a disc. You've tried inserting it. You've tried plugging it in. You've even tried taking it out on a date. Yeah, I'm doing YouTube videos right now. I've got like 10 subscribers. It's getting pretty serious. So baby, when am I getting into those files? You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Ooh, files. Yeah. Yeah, it's the sex joke. Fuck you, Eric. I am out of here. Bitch. Well, Knowles Nook has got you covered. First, press to open the disc tray. Second, have the disc in hand. And finally, throw the disc in any random direction. Hey guys, just a few days ago I released my first video which was my top 10 most memorable games as a kid. Check it out, I'll put it in the description below. I, I like the video, I think, it was, I think it was really fun to make. Hopefully you guys like it too. With that said, a lot of these games in the video last week were old. Pretty freaking old. So, I just showed you guys a bunch of games essentially you could never play, right? No, I don't want that to be the case. So, for this week on Knowles Nook, I would like to show you guys how to get your old games to work on your current PC. Alright everybody, the first thing that you're going to want to do is download a program called DOSBox. This is what we're going to use to help us run our old games on our current version of Windows 10. I have a link in the description below for your convenience, but really all it takes is a Google search and you're there. Once you're on the site- Whoa! What the f is that? Looks like DOSBox guy has some dirty little secret. Anyway, once you're pulling yourself together, go ahead and go to the download tab and hit downloads and then click on the most current version available for Windows. If you're already lost at this point, I'm sorry man, I can't help you, there's no hope for you on this one. After downloading DOSBox, we're gonna open your C drive and create a folder called games. I mean, you really could call it whatever you want, I guess, but I just suggest keeping it simple and short and relevant. Our next step is going to take us to one of two websites, either dosgames.com or dosgamesarchive.com. Both of these websites are great options. I believe dosgamesarchive.com has a little bit of a bigger selection, but for right now we're going to go to dosgames.com and we're going to find Chex Quest in the 3D shooters category and then go ahead and download it. Once your download is complete, go ahead and head on over to the downloads folder and find the zip file that you just downloaded. When you get there, go ahead and right click on it. This will bring up a menu with several different options. I want you to left click on extract all files or extract all. After clicking on extract all, a box will appear looking like this. Go ahead and click on browse, go into your C drive, select games folder or whatever you decided to name it, and then right click, create a new folder. I'm going to simply name it checks for checks quest. And then finally, select the folder to extract all the files into. You can do this over and over again with several different games to build up quite a nice library of DOS games you can play. As you can see, there's just like a ton of selection on these websites. They're super fun. I would advise you guys to check out as many as you can and test it out and see if you can get as many working as you can. 
Most of the games are demos, some are shareware, but there are actually some games on this website and on the other one that are full-fledged games. So super cool. So are you guys still with me? Awesome. Let's keep this thing going. So now you'll need to open up DOSBox. This is where things can get a bit tricky, but don't worry guys, it's pretty simple and don't let this scary command prompt get to you. I, I think this is what the dude's secret was. You'll never be able to get this to work. <laughs> Anyway guys, like I said, it looks pretty intimidating, but after a while, and hopefully with my help, it will be pretty darn simple. Once open, you're going to type this exactly, except for when I say space. When I say space, just give it a little space between the two words. Anyway, we're going to type mount space C space C colon backslash then hit enter. After that, type in C colon, and once again, hit enter. Then type C D space games, or whatever you decided to name that folder that we placed into your C drive. Then once again, hit enter. You'll notice on the left that it shows that we're now in the C drive and in the games folder. This is where you can type in DIR and hit enter. This will show you what is exactly in the games folder. Right now we only have checks quest in there. So the next thing that you're going to do is type CD space checks and then push enter. Now it should show that you're in the checks folder. If you are pat yourself on the back guys, because we're almost there. Our next step will be to once again type in DIR and press enter. Once it brings up the directory, look for an executable file or exe file. That file usually says something like install or setup. If you see something like that, go ahead and type in install and hit enter or setup and hit enter. If done correctly, it should fire up the installation process. Go ahead and do whatever it asks you to do here. For sound options though, I always select Sound Blaster for my music and sound effects. I end up using whatever ports and settings that they typically recommend. Finally, once the installation is complete, you should be able to now play your game. Most of the time the games will fire up immediately after installation, but if it doesn't, you may have to tinker around with it a bit. Sometimes you'll have to close out the installation to manually launch it from a different file. Also guys, I'm going to show you um, how to launch Blood. I really recommend you guys trying this game. Um, the first chapter is free. You can download the shareware on either dosgames.com or dosgamesarchive.com. It's super fun, super atmospheric, and kind of creepy. Actually, really pretty freaking creepy. Blood requires you to actually install the game. And then it requires you to launch a setup, go through sound effects options, and then, finally, you can play the game. I live again. Alright guys, so the second option to get your DOS games to play on Windows 10 using DOSBox is to boot it from a disk. I know not many of you probably have games out there that are still discs from Windows 95 and 98, um, but if you do, this should really help you out. Go ahead and pop in your disc. If you need instructions for that, just go ahead and watch the first part of my video. Then type in whatever letter your disc drive is. In this case, mine is D, so I'll type in mount space D space D colon backslash space minus T space CD ROM and hit enter. After that is complete, type in mount space C space C colon backslash and once again, go ahead and push that enter button. Then we're going to want to type in D colon and hit enter. After that, I'm going to want you to type in DIR and then find the file from the directory in order to install the program. This, the rest of this, 
It's just the same old thing. So you guys should be golden. And that's how to use DOSBox to get your games to work on Windows 10. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Knowles Nook. I had so much fun making these videos for you guys, and there should be another one out next week. Don't forget to comment. Check the description in the video because I have links to those websites where you can download these games and other cool things. So, guys, once again, I'm Eric Noletti for Knowles Nook. Take care. Thank you so much.